Hey everyone, Jeff and Tony here from Blockbuster. We're gonna go over the air system on our Blockbuster processors. What it does, how it works, goods, maybe there's bads. But uh, we're gonna kinda do a little Q&A and just to hopefully get you guys a little bit more familiar with the system. So Tony, real quick, what are the kind of key components with our, our air system? Key components are the compressor, the air tank, on the 2222 machine, which we have here, your splitting cylinder is returned with air. Your saw cylinder is returned with air. The dump tray is returned with air. And the measuring stop is returned with air. And so on the smaller machines from the 2222, uh, we have the 1820, 1820 plus, and 2220. Yes. And those still have an air system on them. On, on those smaller machines, you have the same air compressor, you have an air tank, and only the splitting cylinder and the saw cylinder are returned with air. All right, so we're under here on the 2222, uh, getting some more specifics on the air system. So Tony, talk to us about the air compressor and our tank, please. Okay, our air compressor uh, will fill the air tank to 135 pounds, and that's what our air system runs. Um, you want to check your air tank daily for oil or moisture. Um, See oil or moisture or a, a little film. Is that bad? That's very normal. Um, if you, you know, give your tank a little drain and you see uh, hydraulic oil, uh, red oil, or clear oil, whatever you're using, uh, then you probably have a cylinder that's bypassing internally. All right, we'll talk some more about that here in a bit. Uh, what else do we have for components on here? Okay, at the compressor, we have a one-way check, which prevents back pressure to the compressor head. Uh, we have the pressure switch, which turns the solenoid off and on to turn the electric motor of the compressor on. Uh, we have a pressure relief, uh, 200 pounds on this side of the air tank. Uh, we have a pressure relief on the other side of the air tank, which is divided in the middle. Uh, this one is around 600 pounds. And this side acts as an accumulator for the splitting cylinder. And on the 2222, it also, uh, the dump tray and the measuring stop are also on this side of the air tank. Uh, this side of the air tank acts more like a spring for the saw cylinder to return it to the upright position when you let go of the saw handle. All right, so we've talked a little bit about the air system components. What are the benefits? Why does Blockbuster use well, the air system? Well, um, on our machines, we use the air system. Uh, that gives us more of an auto cycle on our splitting cylinder. So you detent the handle and your cylinder splits your wood. When it reaches the end of the stroke, it comes up to pressure and knocks the handle back to neutral and your cylinder is returned with air pressure. Uh, on your saw cylinder, when you pull the handle to cut, it brings the saw down hydraulically. And when you let go of the handle, the saw returns to the upright position with air pressure. So the operator doesn't have to perform another operation. And it's just an automatic retract. Yes. Well, uh, another benefit to the air system is we don't have any electric solenoid valves. There's no switches, no wires. Um, it's all very user serviceable, user friendly, uh, manually operated. Okay, on the 2222, we have the measuring stop, which operates with the trough. So as you're forwarding the log, the cylinder extends to the proper measurement for your block of wood. And then when you let go of the handle, the trough stops and the cylinder retracts with air pressure. So you don't bind your saw in the cut. And then once your block is cut, it lands on this tray. And while your cylinder is returning, you've got your piece ready to go. As soon as it's all the way back, you dump it into your splitting chamber and you're splitting your next piece. And this would be considered an offset machine, correct? Yes. All right, because it's your trough is offset of of your splitting chamber. Yep. So, and 
another benefit uh, on, on maybe some of the even the smaller machines that have the air system, uh, it's it's automatically going to return the bar up. Yes. But then you can also with the splitting cylinder returning, we and being able to do that, are we losing a pump section then? Or? Yeah. Um, with the uh, air retract on the splitting cylinder, we run the same pump section for the splitting cylinder and the saw motor, and while the splitting cylinder is returning with air pressure, we can be cutting our next piece. All right, so the air system doesn't seem to be that complicated, actually. Nope. Uh, troubleshooting, if you have a problem, what are, what are some of the, the common things okay. to look for? Um, if your air pressure is low and you call for air, um, you have power when you turn the key on to your pressure switch, which activates the relay, which turns your compressor on. Uh, if for some reason your compressor does not turn on, you've got a large fuse here to check. Is that 80 amp? 80 amp fuse. Right. Um, the next thing you would check probably is power with the key on. Uh, if you have that, then you would want to check the other side uh, power with the key on. If you have power from this one to here, um, you could check power from these two terminals. Basically just jump on that relay. Jump right? in the relay. And right. if your compressor runs, your relay is probably bad. Um, if you hear uh, clicking in the relay uh, and nothing's happening, uh, go back and check your fuse. Or it could be a problem with the compressor motor. And it's always good to kind of check some of your uh, simple things. Just yeah. with your, your yep. regular power and ground yep. and cables yep. and connections. You've got the ground right here. Uh, loose ground wire will cause you problems occasionally. Um, there's a ground wire on the relay. Uh, that can cause you problems. And there is an uh, air filter? Is there is right? an air filter uh, right here on the compressor. Uh, probably every time you change the oil, maybe inspect the air filter on the compressor. Yeah. Just blast it out, right? Yep. We've got, got a couple of different ports here, uh, which are pretty handy for filling up tires or blasting yep. anything off, blowing anything off you want on the machine. Yep. We'll say maybe you break for lunch and you come back and your air pressure is down around 50 pounds. You've definitely got a leak somewhere, whether it's a fitting uh, or a cylinder. Um, you on, can, on new machines, yeah. though, the compressor will maybe kick on in the morning if it still needs pressure. Yep. But and it may not run for the rest of the, the day. Right? Correct. Yeah. If if you've you know if you check your uh, drain daily valves and your pressure drops below a hundred, uh, your compressor is going to want to kick on when you turn the key on. Okay. Let's talk about uh, if we do have a leak. All right. So we've identified that there's a leak in our hydraulic system yep. or the air system on our hydraulic system. Uh, quick things to check for, I think, would be just getting the soapy water bottle on yep. your air hoses and yeah. fittings. Yeah, spray all the fittings on your air tank, your air compressor. Uh, the air goes to the rod end of your splitting cylinder, the rod end of your saw cylinder, uh, cut uh, dump tray, it goes to the base end, and on the measuring stop, it goes to the rod end. So spray all those fittings and even spray the rod seal. Make sure you don't have a leak around the rod. Okay, and if there's no no issues, no bubbles that we're seeing on the fittings. Yep. The next thing uh, to be with next thing to do maybe listen listen for gurgling or bubbling in the hydraulic tank. That would indicate uh, a bad packing in the cylinder and the air's bypassing. So you've got air air pressure built up in the system, yep. and if you can hear gurgling. Yep. Most likely. If, it's a if, if you hear gurgling in the air in the hydraulic tank, you're gonna have a uh, bad packing. Okay. And and on those the packing, we've got kits available. We do. Right there, there's slightly special packing, right? Um yeah, the splitting cylinder has uh, they refer to it as a crown seal, which is kind of a flat face uh, piston seal. So it seals both directions and it holds the air better than a lip seal. Um, we're, we use uh, 3,000 pound tie rod cylinders because they have a flat face seal in them instead of just an O-ring, which doesn't hold the air pressure as well. We have a cylinder that's leaking. We're hearing gurgling. Yep. Let's just, for 
many times it's splitting cylinder yeah or the saw or the saw retract. cylinder yep and so those might be the first ones to re to check mm -hmm. and let's start here let's just say that we, we want to find out if it's this yep. cylinder we've got gurgling okay so one thing to check if you come to your air tank and you drain the side for the splitting cylinder and that's and you get oil but you don't get oil out of the saw side then you would check your splitting cylinder uh, drain your air system take the hose off and cap it and then let your air pump up and see if you still hear bubbles in the hydraulic tank all right so that's a quick and easy way to find out maybe which cylinder yep. you might need you can you can test all the cylinders that way okay go one individually yes and uh okay i think that about wraps it up okay. uh check us out email us call us look us up on facebook if you guys have any questions if you guys want to hear more let us know